Hello everyone, it's Rajwood and welcome back to another video. If you're looking for a perfect gift for a creator or tech enthusiast in your life, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be sharing five categories of thoughtful gift ideas creators will love and a few things to avoid unless they've asked for them. So if you're unsure of what to get or want to avoid getting something that ends up gathering dust, stick around. And I'll leave links to everything plus alternatives down in the description to make your life easy. So first and probably the easiest option is money. Hear me out. It doesn't necessarily have to be cash. It could be in the form of an Amazon or Apple gift card. If like me, they're an Apple fanboy. Or you can get one from their favorite local or online store. I know I'd personally appreciate that a lot because there's always some camera gear I want but can't quite justify buying it. So a gift card will basically mean it's free. Plus this option saves them from pretending to like a gift they may have to return later. So next on the list before I get into specific items that I recommend is what I like to call complimentary items. This is where you get a little bit observant and pick up on things that they don't even know they need or things that they talk about quite a lot and I bet they'll really appreciate the gesture like an extra battery for their mirrorless camera or that SD card they like to use but only have one off or something along the lines that they've mentioned in the past. If you're thinking of batteries or SD cards just put the name of the camera in Amazon or Google and add battery or memory card. You'll find the name of the camera on the camera body usually in front for Canon or on the top for some new Sony cameras or just ask them so that you don't get it wrong. I do recommend you get the original name brand battery from a reputable source though because some third party batteries might give them issues or not work properly for certain functions especially with Canon cameras. But this KNF Concept 1 that I have here is pretty good because it does not require a separate charger. Just plug it in with any USB-C cable and you're good to go. And you can get two of them for less than the price of a Sony or Canon original battery. But I'll be honest, this option can be quite a hit or a miss. So make sure they have a good return policy wherever you buy from. Alright, so next on the list is Apple AirTags or other similar tracking devices. In my opinion, every photographer or content creator should have at least a couple of these, especially if they take their gear out or travel a lot. It can be such a lifesaver if you misplace your bag or your wallet and you really can't have enough of them. I know I need quite a few myself. Plus Amazon is always running some sort of a sale on these, so do keep an eye out. And if you don't know, AirTags are Apple products and work best with iPhones. In fact, you might not be able to set it up without an iPhone, so keep that in mind. I'll leave other options that work well with Android phones in the description. There's also a lot of wallets and other accessories that could be great complimentary gifts along with AirTags. Like this Polar Pro Defender body cap or lens cap that has an AirTag holder built in. There's so many creators that have talked about having their gear stolen or lost and managing to find them because they had AirTags hidden somewhere on their camera or in their backpacks. So this is something that every creator would appreciate. Alright, so next on the list, in no particular order, we have microphones. And just so you know, these are microphones that I personally like because I know they're good quality and I can almost say for a fact that most creators will appreciate something on this list or even already own a few. The first one I recommend and the least expensive, at least on Amazon, is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. Fun fact, I actually think I might be getting one for Christmas. This is a very versatile shotgun microphone, great for all sorts of applications. It has a USB-C port so you can connect it to your computer and a 3.5mm port so you can connect it to your camera directly. You can mount it on top of your camera for vlogs or even on a boom pole for talking at videos. Another great budget option from Rode is the Rode Wireless Me. I basically started my channel with this mic so I can personally vouch for it. Another popular option is the Holy Land Lark M2. Everyone raves about this mic on YouTube because of how small it is and the quality it produces. So you definitely can't go wrong with it. Alright, so next is my favorite mic of all time, the DJI Mic 2. This is basically the best mic you can have as a content creator if money wasn't an issue. The only other microphone that comes close is the Rode Wireless Pro, which is a bit cheaper, but I'll tell you why I'll still go for the DJI in the next category. But yeah, the DJI Mic 2 is such a great mic it has 32-bit float internal recording and it comes with a really nice charging case if you go for the combo option. But yeah, these are all mics that will work with all cameras and smartphones, maybe with the exception of the Holy Land Lark M2. If you do go with the Holy Land, make sure you get the right receiver or get the combo option so that it comes with all three receivers for lightning, USB-C and cameras. Alright, so next we have action cameras. Again, something that every creator or someone that is looking to start creating videos would truly appreciate. We'll start with the one that I think is the most versatile and possibly 2024's best small camera for creators. And that's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This camera was released late last year and has quickly become the most versatile camera for content creation. It's got everything, 10-bit 4K recording even in log, a 3-axis gimbal for smooth footage, which also gives it amazing low light capability. In fact, if I didn't have Apple Log on my phone and I could only have one camera, this would be it. And if you can swing for it, go for the creator combo because that option also comes with one transmitter of my favorite microphone, 
the DJI Mic 2. Oh, and one thing I forgot about the DJI Mic 2 is that it can also connect via Bluetooth to your phone. No other wireless microphone that I know of can do this. Which is why I said earlier that I'd go for the DJI Mic 2 instead of the Rode Wireless Pro. Another great action camera that will be good for POV is the Insta360 GO 3S. It's a tiny pill shaped action camera that you can stick just about anywhere to get the shot. Or if they're into the GoPro style of action cameras, go with the GoPro Hero 13 Black or one of Insta360's action cameras. There's also the Insta360 X4 8K 360 camera for that cool 360 degree perspective. And I'll definitely list more affordable options down in the description. Alright, so now a few honorary mentions. First is the DJI Mini 4 Pro or the DJI Mini 4K drones. Don't get them mixed up because these two drones have very different prices. But they are all great gifts for people looking to get into aerial photography or video. They are both very beginner friendly but the Mini 4 Pro can be used for more professional work like real estate and will be great for future proofing. The Mini 4K however isn't bad at all and for the price is the best entry point. Next is the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. It's basically regular looking Ray-Ban glasses with a camera in front and open air headphones that actually sound great. I have a video on the channel that I'll link in the cards right here. Next is the Kodak Mini 2 Retro. I bought one last year that came with loads of print papers and my wife literally can't have enough of it. It's a portable photo printer that connects to your phone and lets you print all your photos. Viewing photos on your phone is cool, but there's nothing like having an actual print to put in a photo album or stick on something. I also have a really good video on that that I'll link in the cards and in the description. Last but not least is an old film camera for someone that loves photography. We got this old Ricoh FF9 from a charity shop for £2 and just last week got a roll of Kodak Color Plus 35mm film and you have no idea how excited I am to capture some memories this Christmas. And I think that will be a really perfect gift. Ok now let's get into a few things that I think you shouldn't get. Don't just go buy them a mirrorless camera because Sony for example releases a new camera like every month so my preference for cameras changes all the time. Instead get them a gift card from BNH Photo or Wex if you're in the UK and the same applies to lenses. You could make the mistake of thinking lenses are lenses and would work on their camera only to find out that it's a Canon EF lens and they use a Canon RF camera. I'd much rather have a gift card to buy the lens that I actually want than have to go through the hassle of returning a lens or replacing it. Alright lastly if you've seen something that you think your creator friend might like I'd recommend you don't just go out and buy it. Maybe try asking them in a passing conversation to see how they feel about it and they might even give you a hint on which one they would like or tell you if they've already ordered one or are planning to get one. Well there you have it guys, I hope this video is helpful in making someone's day this holiday season and I'd love to hear all about it down in the comments. And also leave any questions you have down there too and I'll be sure to get back to you. Alright YouTube thinks you'll enjoy one of these videos so go ahead and check them out. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, peace.